Hi and welcome to my guide of the quest between a rock. The quest requirements are fishing contest and dwarf cannon. Although having completed the quest another slice of ham could be helpful. The stats requirements are 30 defense, 40 mining and 50 smithing. Also you will need to be able to kill a combat 75 to 125 and also a couple of level 14 scorpions. For the items needed is any kind of pickaxe, approximately 1000 coins, 4 golden bars, a cannonball mold, which can be bought for 5 GP during a quest if you don't have it, just like me, and then also a hammer. Next you should also bring some food, armor and weapon to kill the boss, but having a full proselyte and 2 prayer potions would actually suffice and you only need these at the end of the quest. So bring only your weight reducing armor and let's say two stamina potions. And for the teleport is one to the entrance of the Dwarven Mine. I will be using a glory charge. One teleport to the entrance of Calagrim where I am right now. I will be bringing along a teleportation method to a ferry ring and then I'm going to use the code DKS. So that will get me to the transportation sign just here on the hill next to the entrance. And then you should also bring along a teleport to any furnace and then back to the Calagrim entrance. Where to start this quest is I am currently at the Calagrim entrance just east of Releca. Enter this tunnel, go a little bit east, enter that cave entrance. And here you'll find two NPCs. We will need to talk to the Dwarven Ferryman. And say yes please. And it will cost you 2 GP to get across the river. Next go east and cross the first bridge. Then go click north on your minimap. And click on that second bridge. And now just wait for your character to run around this rock. And after we have crossed the bridge, we will see our quest start. Let's talk to Dunnekin. Select the second option. Why are you firing a cannon to a wall? Select the first option. So why are you trying to get through the rock again? Select the first option, sounds interesting. Then just select the third option, I will be back later. And let's go back east. Or just click south on your minimap and try to cross the two bridges again and get back to the Dwarven Ferryman. Nope, don't cross the second bridge. Just east of the southern bridge you will find the Dwarf and Ferryman. Talk to him. Select yes please. And he will take you back across for 2 GP. Next, go a little bit south and then west. And now we will need to go to uh, the Dwarven Boatman to get ourselves to Calagrim. If you have not started the giant dwarf quest you will see a cutscene which will take approximately 5 minutes I think. Next, once you have arrived, go north, cross the bridge and then go to the western side of Keldegrim and enter the first building which is the library. Enter it and try to find the librarian and talk to him. And select the second option, what do you know about impenetrable rocks? Alright, next go south. We will now need to head to the uh, big building. Just go south until you see a farm patch. Near the farm patch you will find the entrance to the big building just south of the library. Enter it and then enter the building or the room just east of the entrance to the anvil sign. And here we will need to talk to the dwarven engineer.
All right, next we will need to go to the Dwarven Mine Entrance. That is just west of Edgeville and the Monastery. So I will be going to Edgeville. Now it's also time to kill a couple of Scorpions of level 14, as well as mining some ores. So be sure that you have your weapon and your pickaxe. And then just make your way to the Dwarven Entrance. Alright, when you are at the Dwarven entrance, if you don't have your ammo mold, just enter the western room, right click on the Lodian and trade him, and buy one ammo mold for 5 coins. Once you have this, let's enter the eastern room, and inside we should find Rolad. Talk to him. Then just wait a second and he will need a book, but he's also missing three pages. And all three pages are down in the Dwarven Mine. So let's climb down this trapdoor. And first we will need to look inside some minecarts. So search in every minecart that you see on the track. So far nothing, I'm going to the uh, eastern side and I've just found the first book page. Next we should also mine some rocks, don't really think it matters which one so I'm going to try to mine some uh, clay. It really doesn't matter which one, but it will take a couple of attempts and I just got my book page 3. Now to get my uh, first book page we will need to kill some scorpions. So let's continue going through this dungeon until we see a couple of scorpions of level 14. And let's attack them. This will also take a couple of attempts before we get the uh, book page drop. Alright, I just got the third page in my inventory and now we have all three of them combined to pages. Let's return to Rolad. Alright, back at Rolad. Let's talk to him, give him the missing pages, and he should, and he will give you the Dwarven lore. Now it doesn't really uh, matter which one you choose, lie or don't lie. It doesn't matter at all. Next, read the book and go to the last page. Close it. Alright, maybe not for now. Next, if you don't have your ammo mold, this is your last chance to get it from Nelodian. And now we will need to return to Dunnegan, which is the NPC where we have started the quest. So I'm going to teleport myself to my closest, let's say, uh, fairy ring. And I'm going to use the code DKS. You could also use a slayer ring or a Relaka boots teleport.
Once you're back and done again, let's talk to him. Let's select the first option, what have you tried so far? Select the first option, what else did you try? And then this will end the conversation and start a cutscene. Alright, now we will need to make a golden cannonball and give this to Donakan. If you have completed the quest Another Slice of Ham, you can take the ferryman back across the river and go to Caligrim, then go to the southeastern part of Caligrim, take the train, Go to Dorgish Khan and there's a furnace nearby, but I'm going to use my uh, Ectophil and I'm going to use the furnace in Port Pasmatis and then I'm going just going to go back via the ferry ring. If you don't want to use any teleports or you don't have any, you can simply go to the Dorgish Khan uh, furnace or you could use any other furnace, but then you will need to get yourself back to Dundakan. Once you are at a furnace, let's use a gold bar on it. Say yes to make a golden cannonball. Wait a second. And you've used one gold bar to make the cannonball. Next, we will need to return to Dandakan. So either take the train back from Dorvish Khan back to uh, Caligrim, or use the same method how you get back to Dandakan in the first place. For me, it is a fairy ring with the code DKS, and I will see you back at Dondakan. Alright, when we've returned to Donakan, use your golden cannonball on him. Just select like the first option, yes. I am sure it will make a crack. You'll see a shortcut scene and it goes right through. Just skip through the dialogue. Select the first option, so you want to fire me into the rock? Select the second option, I can argue, shoot me in. But first you will need to have a golden helmet made. And you will also have your first schematic. Now we just need to have two more schematics before we can make our golden helmet. First we will need to return to the uh, Dwarven Engineer back in Caligram. So let's go back to the uh, first Southern Bridge. Go back to the Fairman get back across the river and let's 
get a free boat ride to Caligrim. Alright, when you've arrived in Calgrim, let's go north, cross the bridge, and let's go back to the Dwarven Engineer. Now, if you want to deposit your ammo mold to uh, loosen some weight, you can simply do it in the bank, which is uh, just next to the western entrance to the big building. Deposit it. And now let's go to the Dwarven Engineer, enter the big building next to the farm patch and enter the room just east of the entrance with the anvil sign, talk to the engineer and he should give you the second schematic. And now we will need to go upstairs. So in the northwestern or the southwestern there are some stairs, climb up one of these and now just go to the uh, northeastern or the southeastern stairs doesn't matter which one, just so we can get across the river. Climb down the stairs. And now we'll need to go to the uh, southeastern part of uh, Caligrim. So we can pay for a uh, carpet ride to get ourselves to White Wolf Mountain. Here on the western side of the transportation sign and the four uh, tracks, we will find a car conductor. Talk to him. Select the third option that you would want to buy a ticket. Then select the third option to White Wolf Mountain. First option buy. And we will now need to go to the fourth track. So let's go to the most southern track. Follow this track to the first cart and ride it. And this will teleport us to underneath the White Wolf Mountain and also next to the pub. Alright, we will need to enter this pub and inside we should find Korvak. We will need to talk to this dwarf. Alright, I just found Korvak the Dwarven Engineer. Let's talk to him. Keep pressing the spacebar. Just like the first option, no, you've had enough drinking. And he will give you the third schematic. Next, read your Dwarven lore again and go to the last page. Then select yes to tear it out. And you now have the base schematics. Let's click on it to assemble. There are three blue pages on top of the white one. We will need to put the blue pages with the symbols on it are corresponding on the symbols on the white page. So for example, just don't show schematic 2 and 3. And now we just need to move and select schematic 1. And you'll see that there is a plus in a circle, just like in the uh, white page. You will need to put that plus on top of that plus. But to me it is rotated, so I will need to rotate it twice. So that the two cocks are on the southern side. Now I just need to place it correctly. Alright, this should be done. Let's not show schematic 1 and deselect it as well and do the same with schematic 2. And in the top left corner we will find a some kind of pentagon, a rectangle pentagon. This one needs to be in the bottom left corner. So rotate it three times. And now in the top left corner there will be some kind of uh, sum symbol in mathematics or a M on a side down. This will just need to be placed left of this uh, let's say sickle sign or a uh, turned C sign. So let's place this next to that uh, turned C. Alright, when this uh, 
M on its side down is pretty close to the uh, turn C. This is this is actually now in its place. Doesn't really look like much, but it is on its place. Let's de not show it and deselect it. And now for schematic three. For me at the moment, it is actually correct. The two arrows need that are pointing to the center of the schematic need to be on the top of this uh, white paper. And they also need to be uh, be between the two, uh, let's say, C signs. So place these two arrows just next to the C. And now you'll hear a sound if you put your sounds on. And the schematic has been completed. Let's close it. And you now have a schematic. Next, we'll need to go back to the Dwarven Engineer with this one schematic. So let's go back to the Dwarven card. Try to find the conductor, buy a ticket, buy a ticket for 100 GP, and write the card back to Caligrim. Just go north, back inside of the big building. Just uh, cross the river by going through the second floor. And let's go back to the anvil sign on the eastern side. Alright, back at the Dwarven Engineer. We don't need to talk to him, we just need to use his anvil. Use a gold bar on it. Say yes to make a golden helmet. And now let's go uh, west and prepare the fight to kill that boss master of combat 125. So I suggest to use your pros light and bring a couple of prayer potions. I'm going to bring two prayer potions, my whip. I'll be cape, my gloves. Now what you might want to know is that the boss monster actually uses magic. So if you don't have 37 prayer to activate protect from magic, be sure that you wear some dehyde armor. Next when you have your food, armor and weapon to kill the combat 125 mage. I'm going to bring along 5 swordfish just to be sure. Also bring along your pickaxe and your golden helmet. You don't need your hammer anymore because you already smith your helmet. Besides from that, you actually only need two more GP to get across the river. And maybe also two extra GP if you want to cross the river once again. But I'm not going to, I'm just going to use a Edgeville teleport with my glory to get out of there after the quest is completed. So maybe a teleport out of there. I also don't need my fairy ring teleport. So besides from that, let's go back to the guy that we have started the quest at. Alright, when we've arrived to Donnegan, let's equip our gold helmet and talk to him. Select first option, yes, fire when ready.
All right, after this long cutscene is over, you will be now in a dungeon. First, you have eight minutes to mine between six and 15 gold ores. So go mine any of the mineral veins or the golden rocks and try to get between five, between six and 15. If you mine six gold ores, the avatar's comet level will be reduced to 125. And if you mine up to 15, it will just keep dropping until it is level 75. Now you must mine at least six gold ores before you can actually hit the avatar. All right, when you're done mining, let's follow the dungeon until you see that you are able to get to the center and the big room. There, you should find a wall of flame. Let's jump through it. This should take approximately five damage. And when you've jumped through, you'll see a shortcut scene with the more uh, walls of flame. Once the cutscene is over, Let's uh, run towards it. Do not click on it to jump through, but right click on it and talk to it. And depending on what combat style you're going to use against him, he will be attacking you with the combat style which is on the opposite of the combat triangle. I'm going to use melee, so I'm going to use protect from magic because he's a mage now. And now let's attack Avior, the avatar of magic. Alright, when you've defeated the avatar, we will be teleported out of the dungeon because we have unequipped our golden helmet after the fight was done. Let's talk to Dundekan to complete our quest. And congratulations, you have completed between a rock quest. You are awarded with two quest points, 5000 defense, mining, smithing experience, a rune pickaxe, this is mine. What room pickaxe? Oh, here it is. Alright, this is my guide how to complete between a rock quest. I've made a couple of mistakes during this quest. Hopefully you didn't notice because I've edited them out. And subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye.